Her four eyes sought after nothing. Her four eyes created nothing. She alone looked on silent in her mourning. The goddess pitied mortals destined as they were to die, and so she designed to intervene in the hour of their greatest peril. She averted cataclysm that was to be and put to rest the ones who will be will have robbed so many of what time fate had ordained. Her companion her compassion did not end at this. The goddess pitied also those sub subjected crueler still than death. To them she sent her messengers to deliver hope when all was lost. Children of hollowed score earth searching substance for the door those of fell harvest souls combing ether ether for the same so have i seen the door once shut was locked away with despair its secret key sacrificed the one hope of seeing it unsealed when the twilight of the gods at last descends upon this world what emerges from the un Unable to see expands beyond the door will be but music, and that devoid of words, the lamentations of the goddess as she sobs her song of grief, and the ancient annals appears as the goddess of death and chaos, she is said to reside in the world where the souls of the dead find their rest. The people of the lower world worship the great deity from which the land takes its name. Many tales from the folklore portray as the abhorrent goddess of the afterlife. In the city, however, faith in the goddess was commonplace, and it was said that the seers drew from prophetic powers directly. The goddess of death enthroned in the world filled with chaos. Most people now believe the teachings of the order, which preaches devotion, but there still exist minority groups of heretics who are devoted devotees to the goddess. Though her believers have not realized the goddess died centuries ago, she was the one who held back the chaos, keeping it within her own realm. A sworn servant of who fought to protect the goddess a battle she eventually lost. Thus began the destruction of the world the goddess was created. She was a foolish goddess who held great affection for humanity. The goddess gave all of herself for humanity's sake until she sacrificed her own life and fell into the long sleep of death. She granted the most selfless of gifts. Her power and strength flowed through the gate to the unseen world. And with each pass passing second, she grew weaker and weaker. Now that she sleeps within the heart of chaos, should she cease to exist, then the power that she granted to humanity, the power that makes their universe whole, will disappear. When the sands of time run out of, on her, so too do they on the world of man. Blessed by her smell, the spiral shall revolve again. So one shall receive this blessing, relinquish each spark, and begin a new journey. But the glimmer of the sparks shall still remain as a different cycle to born upon us. A cycle of despair, a cycle of joy. It is all an endless dream, yet still the fantasy must come to an end. This is a fantasy based on reality. <laughs> 